Banking is an essential part of our lives. It is where we keep our money, pay our bills, and invest for our future. But have you ever wondered how banks operate? How they manage to keep our money safe and secure? The answer lies in banking regulations. In this video, we will discuss everything you need to know about banking regulations. We will cover the basics of banking regulations, their purpose, and how they affect you as a consumer. We will also discuss the different types of banking regulations, including federal and state regulations, and how they work together to ensure the safety and soundness of the banking system. Finally, we will talk about the future of banking regulations and how they are evolving to keep up with the changing landscape of the banking industry. So, whether you are a seasoned banker or a first-time customer, this video will provide you with a comprehensive understanding of banking regulations and their importance. Before we dive into the details of banking regulations, let's start with the basics. Banking regulations are rules and guidelines that govern the operations of banks and other financial institutions. These regulations are put in place to ensure the safety and soundness of the banking system and to protect consumers. The primary goal of banking regulations is to prevent bank failures and protect depositors' funds. Banks are required to follow strict guidelines and rules to ensure that they are operating in a safe and sound manner. Banking regulations also protect consumers by ensuring that banks are transparent in their operations and provide fair and equal access to financial services. In addition to protecting consumers, banking regulations also help to maintain the stability of the financial system. They ensure that banks are not taking on excessive risks that could lead to a financial crisis. Overall, banking regulations play a critical role in maintaining the safety and soundness of the banking system and protecting consumers. In the next segment, we will discuss the different types of banking regulations. There are two main types of banking regulations, federal and state regulations. Let's take a closer look at each of these types. Federal regulations are put in place by the federal government and apply to all banks and financial institutions that operate in the United States. The primary federal regulator for banks is the Federal Reserve System, which oversees the nation's monetary policy and regulates banks to ensure their safety and soundness. Other federal regulators include the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation, FDIC, which ensures deposits in banks and savings institutions, and the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, OCC, which supervises and regulates national banks. State regulations, on the other hand, are put in place by individual states and apply only to banks and financial institutions that operate within that state. State regulators oversee the licensing and regulation of state chartered banks and credit unions. In addition to federal and state regulations, there are also industry-specific regulations that apply to certain types of financial institutions, such as credit unions and investment banks. Overall, these regulations work together to ensure the safety and soundness of the banking system and protect consumers. In the next segment, we will discuss how banking regulations affect consumers. Banking regulations have a significant impact on consumers. They help to ensure that consumers have access to safe and fair financial services and protect them from fraudulent or abusive practices. One way that banking regulations affect consumers is through deposit insurance. The ethic provides deposit insurance up to $250,000 per depositor per insured bank. This means that if a bank fails, depositors are protected up to this amount. Banking regulations also require banks to disclose information about their fees, interest rates, and other terms and conditions of their products and services. This allows consumers to make informed decisions about their financial choices. In addition, banking regulations prohibit discriminatory lending practices such as redlining, which is the practice of denying loans or credit to people based on their race, ethnicity or location. Banking regulations also require banks to have strong cybersecurity measures in place to protect consumers' personal and financial information from cyber threats. Overall, banking regulations help to ensure that consumers have access to safe and fair financial services and protect them from fraudulent or abusive practices. In the final segment, we will discuss the future of banking regulations. The banking industry is constantly evolving, and banking regulations must evolve with it. In recent years, there have been several changes to banking regulations, and there are likely to be more in the future. One area of focus for future banking regulations is financial technology, or fintech. Fintech companies are disrupting the traditional banking industry by offering innovative financial products and services. As fintech continues to grow, regulators will need to ensure that these companies are operating in a safe and sound manner and that consumers are protected. Another area of focus for future banking regulations is cybersecurity. As cyber threats continue to evolve, regulators will need to ensure that banks have strong cybersecurity measures in place to protect consumers' personal and financial information. Finally, there is likely to be continued focus on consumer protection. 
Regulators will need to ensure that consumers have access to safe and fair financial services and that they are protected from fraudulent or abusive practices. In conclusion, banking regulations play a critical role in maintaining the safety and soundness of the banking system and protecting consumers. As the banking industry continues to evolve, banking regulations will need to evolve with it to ensure that consumers are protected and the financial system remains stable.